Hi, uh, welcome back to another video. This time it's about amateur radio. So recently I was contacted by a company that I'd never heard of called TID or TID. Um, and uh, you'll be able to see here on the screen, uh, this is their website, uh, tidradio.com. And they asked if I would like to receive uh, a little device to test and to do a bit of a video on. And I said, yes, please, thank you very much. So within probably five days, uh, the postman came and this arrived, little brown box. Okay, nothing really uh, special about the box. Inside is, is this. <clears throat> Don't know if you can see that, but basically it's a little uh, adapter, let's say. Um, now, for those of you that know or are familiar with the both end handhelds and also these new Quan Sheng handies, you'll probably be uh, recognising the fact that it's got these two uh, jack plugs on it. Uh, not focusing very well, sorry. There you go, how's that? Um, so basically what this is, is a Bluetooth connection to your radio. Now, for those of you that have been playing around with Bofengs and, uh, and these Quan Shengs, the way that you program them typically is uh, via a cable. Now, this TID radio company have created this little Bluetooth device. And I'd just like to do you a bit of a video because I've been playing with it and I'm quite impressed, to be honest. There's a lot more that you can do with this, so please do your research. All I'm really going to show you is the basics of what I would use it for. So anyway, I've got two radios here. I've got this little Quan Sheng UVK8 or something. Um, and I'll, I'll turn it on and I'll just show you. So there you go. Okay, so I haven't really done anything with it since I've had it. I bought it just as a, a curious um, investigation really. But anyway, what we can do with the jack plugs on the side of the radio, we can plug this in. Okay, so that's it plugged in, and now we can turn it on, okay, and you'll see that the little Bluetooth lights come on, nothing else has happened. I'm just going to put this to one side, just there for instance, and now what we can do on my tablet, hold on two secs, uh, on my tablet, I'm running an Android tablet, just start the screen recording and then you'll be able to see it. So you get a piece of software called Odd Master, OD Master, and literally you download it. And here it is now firing up on my Android tablet, logging in, username and password. You can also access this, this software over the internet and you can actually program it in Windows and then it will actually update your radio, um, I believe, over the internet. So first screen is we need to connect via Bluetooth. So we've turned the, um, the dongle on. So we connect, we search for the dongle. There it is. Click OK. Uh, right, OK, I don't know why that said that. But anyway, it's connected now. Select the model. Uh, this is a Quan Sheng UV K5 brackets 8. And now we tell it to read the radio, which it's doing now, as you can see. And it will pull in all of the configuration from the radio, exactly the same as if you was using something, um, I can't remember the name of the package I used to use, but um, yeah, exactly the same. So we can program the radio up with all of the various different uh, channels. So let's choose, for instance, channel number three, and let's program this up with, um, for instance, 144 decimal 300, and that's the receive frequency, and the transmit frequency 144 decimal 300 again, simplex channel. Again, we can do repeaters with this, so we've got offsets, we've got tones, CT, CSS tones, and all that kind of stuff. We can also alter the power, so let's change it to medium power, for instance. And once we're happy with what we've actually put in there, 
then we simply click save and that's going to save the um, settings into the software app and then once we're happy that we've programmed all of the channels that we want we click write and then that will actually write that back to the radio none of this is particularly groundbreaking um, however I thought it was worth sharing this video with you because this little Bluetooth connection um, I haven't actually seen one of these before to be honest and also I hadn't actually seen any uh, other videos on this little device so I hope this helps let's just show you as I say there are loads more things that you can do with this um, other than just simply storing um, like I'm doing the odd channel here and there uh, let's just have a look what else can we do uh, save settings confirm uh, RX TX list what does this do so this is various saves that I've done while I've been playing with it um, go back functions this is where we can change the functions just like we was in the menu of the radio but rather than actually doing it from the keypad on the radio we can actually do it here in software and uh, and then simply squirt it out to the radio once we're happy with with all of that so yeah you can see all the various different functions as i say this isn't a radio that i've spent any time with so to be honest you probably know more about the radio than i do but i'm not showing you the radio i'm showing you the the software and this little bluetooth dongle um what else what else uh do, 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 do. Repeat a list. I think this goes off to repeat a book or something like that. Um, you can import from somewhere. I don't know. You'd need, you'd need to read the instructions. It does come with instructions. And the instructions are actually quite good, to be honest. So, you know, this is the little instruction booklet. Um, they're all, yeah, the whole of the booklet is in English. And there's also an online manual as well. Uh, let's see if I can get that to focus. There you go. So, yeah, I've, I've got to be honest with you, I'm really impressed. Um, I probably need to spend a little bit more time reading up on what the software can actually do. Um, there we go, repeat a list feature. So it tells you how to do all of this. Um, me personally, um, I'll tell you what, let's try something else. I haven't tried this, so I don't know if it's going to work. So this is a bit of a flyer. I've got here uh, my trusty bow thing. <coughs> so let's come out of that. Let's take the Bluetooth dongle off. Let's turn it off. I don't know whether leaving it on would have caused a problem. We'll plug it into the bow thing. So it's now plugged in. Let's turn the bow thing on, which I've just done. Let's press the little Bluetooth connection. Okay. So now, hopefully, by clicking there and clicking that, so we're now connected to the Bluetooth dongle. Now let's select a different radio. So instead of the Quancheng radio, we've got all sorts of different radios, uh, some that I've never even heard of, to be honest. Retivis, um, Radio Oddity, um, ba -ba -ba -bum. loads that I don't know. Any secure. Yeah. And at the top, probably the most popular, Bofeng. Now, this is actually called a GT3, um, but I believe it's the same as um, a UV5R. Now, I know on here, I did spot, there we go, they actually have got a GT3. Oh, this is a GT5. Don't know whether that's going to make any difference. Let's see if it connects. Let's see what happens. Okay, it says that the board rate is wrong. I don't quite know what that message means. Uh, let's see. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try again. Um, connect. I don't know because it isn't the actual radio that it's trying to connect to. So interesting just to see what happens. Um, okay, GT3 read. Oh, it nearly worked there. Um, read. No, maybe it's just not. Um, I don't know the board rate of this radio. Uh, let's try the UV5R. I don't know whether there's any difference. They've got several UV5Rs here. Read. No. Nope. Probably trial and error, actually, to see 
which one is the right one to put. I don't know the difference. UV5R old firmware could be, you never know. No. Nope. Probably need to put a little bit more time into this rather than wasting your time. But um, I'm sure one of these will actually work. Uh, different radio, UV5R old firmware number two. No. Okay. Oh, hold on. Uh, yes. Uh, UV82. Don't know. UV5X. UV5G. No. Okay. Well, I'm sure, given enough time, I could probably read this radio as well. Confident I could. Uh, it's just not knowing which one to actually uh, try because I haven't got a UV5R this is a, a derivative of that if you know which one I should be pressing by the way put something down below in the comments um, I'll keep trying just as a matter of interest but anyway I won't keep you any longer thanks very much for watching the video hope it was useful for you um, I have got a discount code if you want to buy one of these they're not expensive they're about don't know, 10, 12 pounds or something like that. So it's it's not the end of the world. Um, but I have got a discount code that I'll put at the bottom of the screen now. Uh, so if you want to buy one, you'll get, I don't know, 10% off or something like that. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you do like amateur radio videos like this, feel free, check out some of my other videos. I've got hundreds of them now on my uh, YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, till next time, 7-3. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.